NASA has raised alarms with a serious warning that a newly discovered asteroid could potentially hit Earth this week. The agency is developing several countermeasures for asteroid collisions in the future, but it is yet undetermined when they will become operational. In today's video, let's talk about NASA's shocking new discovery that an asteroid will hit our planet this week. Can humanity survive this impact, or will we end up like the dinosaurs? Asteroids are rocky objects of various sizes that are usually observed orbiting the Sun. Even though they orbit around the star similarly to planets, they are much smaller in size. Our solar system is home to many asteroids. These objects date back to the formation of our Sun and its orbiting planets. Dinosaurs roamed our planet for at least 180 million years before a massive, nine-mile-wide meteorite crashed into the Earth and abruptly ended their stay. In addition to the dinosaurs, the impact also wiped out mammals and other marine and avian reptiles. The impact site turned into a massive crater at least 93 miles in size. This resulted in a chain reaction that led to the eventual collapse of the entire ecosystem of the planet. For hundreds of millions of years, a top-shaped rubble pile called Bennu has orbited the Sun in relative isolation. The asteroid, about a third of a mile wide at its equator, poses no immediate threat to our planet. But hundreds of years from now, there is a small chance that Bennu could slam into Earth. In a new study, scientists used data from NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to make a precise calculation of Bennu's orbit and its future proximity to our home planet. The researchers then analyzed the impact hazard between now and the year 2300. The study finds a 1 in 1,750 chance of a future collision over the next three centuries, a slightly higher probability than previously estimated. Nearly all of the riskiest encounters with Bennu will occur in the late 2100s and early 2200s, with the single likeliest impact coming on the afternoon of September 24, 2182. On that Tuesday, Bennu has about a 1 in 2,700 chance of hitting Earth. The team, led by David Farnokia, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, researched its revised estimate by pinpointing Bennu's distance from Earth to within about seven feet at dozens of times between 2019 and 2020. That level of precision is like measuring the distance between the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower to within a few thousandths of an inch. Despite the slightly higher chance of impact, the risks from Bennu shouldn't keep anyone awake at night. There's more than a 99.9% .9 chance that Bennu will not hit Earth in the next three centuries, and an impact from Bennu wouldn't cause a mass extinction like the dino-killing Chicxulub impact 66 million years ago. That asteroid was probably about six miles across. Bennu is less than a third of a mile wide on average. Even so, a collision with Bennu would be regionally devastating. An impact would pack the energy of more than 1.1 billion tons of TNT. NASA has announced that a planet killer asteroid that is hiding in the glare of the sun has finally been detected, and the giant space rock could smash into Earth one day. The 0.9 mile wide, potentially hazardous asteroid, named 2022 AP7, is one of several large space rocks that astronomers recently discovered near the orbits of Earth and Venus. Currently, 2022 AP7 crosses Earth's orbit while our planet is on the opposite side of the Sun. But scientists say that over thousands of years, the asteroid and Earth will slowly start to cross the same points closer together, thereby increasing the odds of a catastrophic impact. The asteroid was discovered alongside two other near-Earth asteroids using the Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in Chile. To find the asteroids, astronomers trained the Cerro Tololo Victor M. Blanco 4-meter telescope's dark energy camera on the inner solar system. The sun's glare makes observations impossible for most of the day, so the researchers had just two 10-minute windows of twilight each night to make their observations. NASA tracks the locations and orbits of roughly 28,000 asteroids, following them with the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, an array of four telescopes that can perform a scan of the entire night sky every 24 hours. Since ATLAS was brought online in 2017, it has spotted more than 700 near-Earth asteroids and 66 comets. Two of the asteroids detected by ATLAS, 2019 MO and 2018 LA, actually hit Earth, the former exploding off the southern coast of Puerto Rico and the latter crash landing near the border of Botswana and South Africa. 
Fortunately, those asteroids were small and didn't cause any damage. NASA has estimated the trajectories of all the near-Earth objects beyond the end of the century. Earth faces no known danger from an apocalyptic asteroid collision for at least the next 100 years. But this doesn't mean astronomers think they should stop looking. In March 2021, for example, a bowling ball-sized meteor exploded over Vermont with a force of 440 pounds of TNT. Space agencies around the world are already working on possible ways to deflect a dangerous asteroid if one were ever headed our way. On September 26, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test spacecraft redirected the non-hazardous asteroid Dimorphos by ramming it off course, altering the asteroid's orbit by 32 minutes in the first test of Earth's planetary defense system. China has also suggested it is in the early planning stages of an asteroid redirect mission. By slamming 23 long March 5 rockets into the asteroid Bennu, which will swing within 4.6 million miles of Earth's orbit between the years 2175 and 2199, the country hopes to divert the space rock from a potentially catastrophic impact on our planet. Ever since Earth formed about 4.5 billion years ago, asteroids and comets have routinely slammed into the planet. The most dangerous of the asteroids that hit Earth are extremely rare. An asteroid capable of global disaster would have to be more than a quarter mile wide. Researchers have estimated that such an impact would raise enough dust into the atmosphere to effectively create a nuclear winter, severely disrupting agriculture around the world. Asteroids at large strike Earth only once every 1,000 centuries on average. Smaller ones that are believed to strike Earth every 1,000 to 10,000 years could destroy a city or cause devastating tsunamis. According to NASA, space rocks smaller than 82 feet will most likely burn up as they enter Earth's atmosphere. However, scientists are still eager to study any potential scenarios just in case such a catastrophic situation arises. Research conducted in 2017 looked at all possible outcomes based on 50,000 computer simulated impact sites all around the globe. It was observed that the biggest threat to humans for the size of asteroids which were simulated in addition to actually recorded encounters was the wind. A study of the Chelyabinsk bolide event that happened in Russia in 2013 revealed that when the asteroid disintegrated in midair, most of the injuries and damage reported were caused by aerodynamic shock that knocked people down to the ground. It also damaged windows and structures, the debris from which caused further indirect injuries to people close by. The biggest takeaway from studying this event was that the asteroid didn't even impact the surface. Most of the damage was caused by the forces of wind that were generated upon entry into the atmosphere and the resulting pressure which kicked up debris. The bigger the asteroid, the more likely it is to generate even more wind pressure that can level entire towns and cities. In addition to the wind, another significant threat to all life from an asteroid's impact will be from thermal radiation. The Tunguska event is another asteroid scare that happened in the Siberian region of Russia. The asteroid exploded before impact and caused around 1,250 miles of dense forest to fall and set a further 186 miles of tree ablaze. Luckily, Siberia is a region that was scarcely populated when the disaster took place back in 1908, and this prevented the loss of human life. However, if a similar event happens today, the damage and loss of life will be massive. Though the threat from asteroid impacts is small, it is a threat nonetheless and something we should be prepared for. We only need to look at past impact events such as the massive Chicxulub asteroid impact to see the catastrophic effects an impact can have on life on Earth. The risk of a catastrophic asteroid impact on Earth is remote, but real. NASA has found about 40% of the large asteroids as wide as 500 feet that could pose a threat to the Earth and regularly scans the sky for more. Early detection of near-Earth asteroids is the first step in planetary defense. Approximately 30 discoveries of near-Earth asteroids are made each week, and at the start of 2019, there were more than 19,000 discovered near-Earth asteroids according to NASA. The Double Asteroid Redirection Test Mission, also called DART, was designed to test the method of deflecting an asteroid for planetary defense using the Kinetic Impactor Technique. The DART mission was launched on November 23, 2021, atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from the Space Launch Complex 4 at the Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The mission demonstrates the high level of international collaboration that is needed for such an ambitious assignment. Though the DART mission is managed by the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, scientists and engineers from around the world have come together to contribute. 
DART will show that a spacecraft can autonomously navigate to a target asteroid and intentionally collide with it. The test will provide important data to help better prepare for an asteroid that might pose an impact hazard to Earth, should one ever be discovered. Lisha Cube, a cube sat riding with DART provided by the Italian Space Agency, will be released before DART's impact to capture images of the impact and the resulting cloud of ejected matter. New images from NASA reveal that the DART mission has successfully collided with Dimorphos, changing its trajectory away from Earth. The probe crashed into the asteroid on September 26, 2022. Now, the light Italian CubeSat for imaging of asteroids has sent back images of the collision from up close. While the spacecraft documented its approach to the asteroid, it was destroyed in the actual collision. That is where Lisha Cube comes in. DART carried the 14-kilogram satellite in a spring-loaded box and then ejected it on September 11th so it could fly past Dimorphos at a safe distance after the collision. This was key to both figuring out how the collision affected the asteroid itself and determining whether its orbit was changed. The first images from Lycia Cube show huge plumes of debris erupting out of Dimorphos after the collision. These pictures have not been analyzed by scientists yet, but eventually they will reveal information about the asteroid's interior and how much of it was destroyed in the smash-up. It will take at least a few days to observe and calculate how Dimorphos' orbit around Didymos has changed. That will depend in large part on the asteroid's internal strength and whether its surface crumbled on collision or stood up to the crash. It's like hitting something with a baseball bat. If the object is a rock and doesn't crumble, it will go further than a piece of fruit that breaks up into many pieces. This information will help determine how future missions to protect Earth from any potentially dangerous asteroids should be designed. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about Voyager 1 and its contact with an advanced alien object. Do you think humanity can survive a major asteroid impact? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.